Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to another episode of Nerves Garage. Now, if this is your first time joining us here on our channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button, right? And toggle on that little bell. That way, you'll be notified when our next great video comes out. Until then, Bart, got a great episode for you this time. As you've probably realized already, it's another episode of our Autoflight Quad Cam EA82 project. Whew, very exciting. So recently, we mocked up our belt layout, just investigating where we're gonna put our tensioners and idlers and all that. Last episode, we drew up our prototype oil pump pulley, right? Sent the CAD file off, and guess what? Got our sweet prototypes back. Straight off the 3D printer. Here we go. Did a last minute revision as well, so I've got a version one and a version two. Radio. So this episode, we're going to be putting these bad boys on, seeing how they fit up, seeing how it's all going to work. Very exciting. Let's get into it. Okay, guys, so let's start by just popping the belt off and taking our makeshift pulley off there. And here's our prototype. Pretty nice looking, hey? Let's just do a quick test fit. All right, so now, because we've had to make this so small to match the size of the crank pulley, so we don't underdrive our oil pump, um, we need some more clearance around the oil pump housing here. So what we need to do now is take the oil pump off and just shave these ribs off it just to give us some clearance on the pulley. I knew this had to happen, but I just didn't know how much we had to take off it until we got the pulley back. So uh, it's got clearance off the front here, but not off the back. So I'm going to take the oil pump off now and get rid of these ribs. All right, so that's our oil pump off. I'm just going to remove this belt guide I put on here. This one, well, so we can get access to the housing. Pop the shaft out. Okay. Let's go. All right guys, so I've got all the orifices of the oil pump taped up. All right. And what we're gonna do now is just remove these ribs off the side of the casting here, around the hub. So our prototype pulley will have some clearance radio. So let's get into it. Okay, so here it is. Remove the ribs. And our timing pulley fits on there now. Cool. So I've blown all the swarf off the pump. Okay, cool. Give it a quick blast with brake cleaner just to make sure there's no swarf left on that at all. Okay, cool. Let's put some oil down in our shaft bore and on our shaft. Cool. Swipe off the excess. Like that. Now I've chosen to go with version two pulley because I put a flange on the back side which will make it stronger here where it's really thin as opposed to version one which had a really thin wall. So we're going to get that added strength at the back and also 
it's engraved and I think it looks cool so let's pop him on Not too tight with this one. That should do it. And it's on there. Cool, huh? Very nice. All right. Let's uh, pop it back on the engine. Okay guys, well, how good's that for proof of concept? We've got our prototype pulley on there and uh, she fits really well. Now, the main basis behind this test was to see if we could run this common cam belt instead of the complicated three belt system that the auto flight heads were designed with. And uh, we've done just that. We've proven it can work and I'm really excited. We've also learnt that there's enough room in the back here to put a flange on this drive pulley, which is great because it'll do two things. It'll act as a belt guide, obviously, and also it'll strengthen that really thin edge that we had to do to um, give clearance off our oil pump hub. So, how good is that? And it's also shown us that we don't have to underdrive our oil pump, so she's gonna be providing oil flow and pressure as per spec. So, um, all things point to proceed with that project, so that's exactly what we're going to do. But that's enough about that just yet, though, because that's future Nev's problem. Right now, let's wrap up this episode. So, as always, thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing, and all that jazz. And also, don't forget to jump on our Instagram, at Gossam Media. Make sure you like and follow us there, and uh, you'll see some nice behind-the-scenes shots going along and news and whatnot. And um, that's about it. I'm Nev. This is my garage, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>